bum ba da dum bum 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 top story cold news has hit the queen well not literally but the news about how cold it is in new hampshire and in the eastern part of america has traveled to the uk and all over the queen is preparing herself for the worst by making her own igloo she thinks that may be the best way for her to keep warm we've heard that the weather is between negative two and nine degrees in fahrenheit does that mean anything to you yeah, it means nothing for me either. But apparently it's cold. I mean, this is serious stuff, people. It's even got its own hashtag. Hashtag bomb cyclone. I mean, Mariana, Felipe and Victor and Isabel, it's, it's all warm where you are, right? Like, you guys live in Miami. But at camp, the lake is actually frozen. And no, 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 Victor, you can't take a dip in the lake. But you could try and skate if you wanted to. You definitely have to wear several coats over there to keep warm. You know, like a real coat. No, Victor, not even wearing the coat is going to help you to take a dip in the frozen lake. Anyway, in other news, the yearbook is coming. The yearbook is coming, everyone. It's been printed now thanks to Jess, Jenna and Bob. Bob, you know Bob. Didn't you meet him this summer? Bob, he was chilling up by the hammocks near bunk three. He stayed in the guest cabin. You must have seen him. Well, you'll see him this summer. Bob is great. We love Bob. Anyway, Bob, if you have any problems, blame Bob with the yearbook. Not with the yearbook. I mean, other things, maybe you could blame Bob. He doesn't mind. He knows he's great and that we all love Bob. But if you do see a problem in the yearbook, blame Bob. But the yearbook is a really, really great way for you to relive the fab summer we had in 2017. Feel the warmth of the summer rays as you ran down the field for your last capture the flag game. Remember what summer could have been, especially, you know, like Seneca winning, winning the summer? That's what I think of most of the time. But we could win this summer in 2018. I know it. And I think you do too. Anyway, in the yearbook there is everything you could have ever asked for. If you want the news, we've given you the news. If you want pictures of your cabin, you've got that. If you want pictures of you, well, there's plenty of that. I tell you, the yearbook has everything. Anyway, keep an eye on your mailboxes and hope that your family put the addresses down correctly in last year's paperwork. Spanish campers, I'd say that's 50-50. Now, if you lived in Ireland, you'd be all set. I mean, ask Sean. His address is Sean Clark, County Meath, Ireland. Apparently, there's only one post office over there, and the lady that works there knows all 147 Irish citizens. And she only delivers mail on a Sunday. What more could someone ask for? In other other news, we've got some amazing, successful camper stories that have happened. Cormac has started wrestling, and Chevy has put in a GoFundMe page to chip in and get Cormac a velvet Coke with King in huge letters across the back. Cormac had his first match the other day and was fortunate to avoid the top two seeds in his bracket in his bracket pictured here. Good luck, Cormac. In other 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 news, keep checking out that camp countdown clock. Now that we're in 2018, camp is so much more closer than it was in 2017. Hang on in there, we'll be back this summer. And one person that's super, super excited, or actually make that two people that are super, super excited about this, is Anne-Marie and our Sheffy. Now, we all love dancing, but I'm not sure if anyone loves it as much as these guys. Did you see Shana bust out her moves in the kitchen? If you didn't, well, she's sneaky with it. But here they are, bringing back Dance Move of the Day. Hey guys, today me and my sister Shana will be doing the dance of the day, and it goes like this. Bum, 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 bum. Bum. <laughs> Happy birthday to everyone who had a birthday since the last airing of Hawk and News. Let's see who they are. Now, time for my favourite segment. It's the weather. Some say she is a master of all trades. She can read your mind just standing five foot away. Well, it's Danielle with the weather from a ski mountain in New Hampshire. 
And that's the weather with Danielle in New Hampshire. Now keep yourself warm by plenty of hot cocoa or hot Ribena, whichever you prefer. And if you don't know what hot Ribena is, just ask Tom. You can't go to sleep without it. Oh, no, Victor. If you have hot Ribena, that's still not going to help you to take a dip in the frozen lake. You've got to wait till the summer. That's it for now. We bring you the news so you don't have to get it yourself. Thank you.